Hello everyone, welcome to GS Core. Today we are going to discuss about mains concept mapping. And in order to uh, discuss this particular topic, we will take one question from previous year. And on the basis of that, we'll also try to discuss what exactly is the concept of that question. And on that basis, how we can prepare our strategy to approach towards the mains examination, right? So that will be the agenda of this particular session. Let us start with the question. So question that we are going to discuss in this approach to mains is question from mains 2022 from science and technology. And the question is, what is the basic principle behind vaccine development? How do vaccines work? How do vaccines work? What approaches were adopted by Indian vaccine manufacturers to produce COVID-19 vaccines? Right. So the question is on vaccines. Right. So uh, if we take into account this topic of vaccines, we can say that it is a static portion. Right. It is a part of static syllabus. Right. But vaccines were in news. Vaccines were a part of current affairs. And that's why UPC asked this particular question by linking current, uh, current affairs with static syllabus of, uh, of science and technology. Right. So here concept that you should be aware of is of vaccines. Right. So let us discuss what exactly uh, is the conceptual part that you should be aware of in order to address this particular question. So question is asking us about the basic principle of vaccines. So what are vaccines exactly? So vaccines are the products, products that use, that use weakened form of antigen, weakened form of antigen, weakened form of antigen is used in vaccine to produce, to produce immune response, immune response against, against that antigen, fine. So what we do in vaccines, in the development of vaccines, we use weakened form of antigen, we may use weakened form of uh, virus, we may use weakened form of, uh, let us say bacteria. So those pathogens, those antigens, their weakened form is used and those weakened forms are administered to a person so that weakened form of antigens are recognized by his or her immune system and not only recognition and production of response against those weakened antigen, but also storage of that particular response in the form of memory, right? So this memory plays an important role in vaccination. Memory of immune system against, against those antigens for which it has produced response. So that response will be stored in our immune system as memory. And whenever in future uh, it encounters, immune system encounters that antigen again, maybe through natural infection, it will be able to produce a response that it has produced earlier in a swift manner. It will produce quick response against that natural infection from same antigen. So that is the basic principle used in the development of vaccines. Fine. So that concept you should be aware of. Now, in order to develop vaccine, we can use a number of different approaches. For example, there are different types of vaccines. There are live attenuated vaccines. That means those vaccines where we use live bacteria, live virus or antigen, but we weaken them, right? They are called as live attenuated vaccine where weakened, but li uh, living uh, antigen is used for the development of vaccine. So that is live attenuated vaccines. Second is inactivated vaccines. So in inactivated vaccines, we use inactivated or killed form of antigens, right? Then we have toxoid vaccines where weakened form of toxins produced by that antigen are used for the development of vaccine. So there are a number of 
different approaches that are used for the development of vaccines. And in the recent past, for the development of uh, more effective vaccines, we are coming up with, with genetic material. Genetic material of those antigens is used for the development of vaccines. And those vaccines are DNA or RNA vaccines. Right? So, these DNA and RNA vaccines are the latest form of vaccines that are being used. Fine. So, that is the concept involved in this particular question. Now, in the question, in the question, we have three important parts. Firstly, firstly, we are supposed to uh, address a uh, basic principle behind the vaccine development. That is first part. Then we are supposed to uh, talk about how vaccines work. Second, and thirdly, what approaches were adopted by Indian vaccine manufacturers for uh, to produce COVID-19 vaccines. So, these are three parts of this particular question. So, what can be the uh, answer? Let us discuss the answer of this particular question. So, in the introductory part, we will define vaccines. In the introductory part, we will define vaccines, wherein we can write the definition that we have already discuss, discussed. They are the products which use weakened form of antigen in order to produce immune response and that immune response uh, provides protection for the future uh, infections if any. Right? So, that is how we can define uh, vaccines. Then in the body part, in the body part, we will talk about basic principle, basic principle for the development of vaccines basic principles uh, principle for the development of vaccine so what is the basic principle uh, used in vaccines develop vaccines development basic principle is memory uh, response uh, which is stored by our immune system right memory response produced memory response is stored by our immune system by our immune system so that what response it has produced what response it has produced it will be able to produce similar kind of response when that infection occurs next time naturally and that is the basic principle used in the development of vaccines right so that is the uh, basic principle then Next part is how do vaccines work? How vaccines work? So, in this particular part, we can uh, talk about some type of vaccine, let us say live attenuated vaccine. Let us say live attenuated vaccine. So, in this live attenuated vaccine, what we do? We use, we use weakened weakened but live antigen weakened or live antigen is injected it is injected in the person's body right it may be injected through uh, through uh, various means but most popular is through injection right so uh, it is injected in the body as it is injected as it is an antigen as it is foreign body it will be recognized by our immune system recognition recognition by our immune system recognition by our immune system fine recognition by our immune system and as a result of recognition it not only it not only uh, takes care of those antigens which have entered in our body but it stores that response it has produced right recognition by our immune system leads to production of some response and this response will be stored as well in the form of memory this response will be stored in the form of memory and when that infection occurs next time it will uh, it will be able to produce uh, a quick response against that infection right so that is how vaccines work Fine. So, that is the second part. Now, in the third part, we are supposed to discuss, in the third part, we are supposed to discuss uh, approaches adopted by Indian vaccine manufacturers to produce COVID-19 vaccine. 
approaches adopted by so third part of body is approaches by indian vaccines manufacturer indian vaccine manufacturers for covid 19 for covid 19 vaccines so firstly uh, we'll talk about the approach followed by bharat biotech bharat biotech so bharat biotech use used uh, inactivated vaccines inactivated approach of vaccines development of vaccine development fine so this approach was used by by bharat biotech wherein they use weakened form weakened uh, weakened not weakened uh, killed or inactivated form of of covid 19 virus itself right so that was used by bharat biotech uh, secondly uh, this serum institute or serum institute of india which produced covid shield covid shield serum institute adopted recombinant recombinant viral vector approach for the development of vaccine right wherein they used uh, they used uh, spike protein genetic material of spike protein from covid 19 and that spike protein uh, gene was attached with adenovirus which is a virus that leads to cold in chimpanzees and that was administered in uh, in our body as as vaccine by by serum institutes covishield right so these two approaches were followed for the development of uh, vaccines by indian manufacturers related to covid 19 fine so that is the body part of this particular question and then in conclusion in conclusion we can uh, highlight about the importance of vaccines in conclusion we can highlight the importance of vaccines especially in the context of importance of vaccines in the context of antimicrobial resistance antimicrobial resistance right so as vaccines as vaccines can play an important role in preventive healthcare they are an important tool against antimicrobial resistance and that's why there should be focus on development of uh, vaccines for those diseases which are more prevalent in india as well as across the world right we should focus on the development of vaccines for those kind of diseases as a result of which our dependency on medicines or drugs will reduce which is considered as a main cause for antimicrobial resistance so that should be the approach for this particular question right now on the basis of this question what can be the probable questions so probable questions may be in the form of uh, may be in the form of let's say they may ask stages in vaccine development stages in vaccine development fine or they they may ask question on they may ask question on let's say uh, how vaccines how vaccines will be an important tool will be an important tool against amr antimicrobial resistance amr or there may be a question on on dna and rna vaccines there may be a question on dna and rna vaccines uh, they may ask how they are developed how they are administered which one is more effective so that may be the probable question on the basis of question on vaccine that upsc has asked in 2022 right so that is about this particular video thank you